Warriors for the sports game. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, phenomenal. WWE 2K19 does not shy away from the shortcomings of his predecessor. Rather, as a sequel, it builds off the foundation laid by 2K18. Because of this, the game feels smoother, sealing the holes left in general gameplay for the past few years now. It's more than just an updated roster with bells and whistles. WWE 2K19 debuts with a strong showing as the game that finally shows off what Take 2 and 2K can really do with the franchise. 2K19 could have easily been a rehash of last year with just the 2K towers and a new roster. Instead, 2K looked at nearly every part of the game and evaluated how it affects the overall experience. Gameplay, while using the same control scheme, has had some rework in the way abilities and some skills work. Small things like requiring reversal to be exhausted when using the ring escape ability changes the pacing of the match for the better. The new playback system balances a lot of the cheap tricks and exploits from previous games but will require players to master a new button combo if they want to make the most of their in-ring tools. The only downside I could find to that really is that the new system will put more emphasis on using the on-screen HUD. This can be a small inconvenience for those preferred going without it, as there seems to be no other way of knowing when your payback is available to use. Animations this year have also been sped up and given new audio to make everything seem more impactful. WWE 2K19 also improves crowd audio cues and does a much better job on commentary overall. You're still likely to tune them out when they begin to ramble, but the conversations this year are somewhat refreshing and feel surprisingly genuine. Because of this, when there is an audio mishap, and there will be some, it can be a bit jarring. Nonetheless, it becomes readily excusable as the crowd properly keeps up with the pacing of the match and the high spots. I'm happy to say I've yet to encounter a dead or silent crowd, even if they're just booing the hills. The game is not without its own shortcomings. While the UI looks incredible and gives a very solid sports vibe, keeping track of your selection in the creation suite does become increasingly difficult, as a selector is nearly invisible despite being red on a white background. In other cases, like let's say to increase match performance, it seems WWE 2K19 draws resources from other areas. Several instances after spending extended time in the creative moveset, I experienced cases where the animation rig simply gives up on previewing moves properly. Luckily, leaving the mode and going back in seems to fix it, but it's something that in theory should just work. You'll also find that the micro mode objectives and spots are not without their own fair share of bugs as well, though I'll admit they are not as heavy as they were last year. Some will still come off pretty jarring, like players selling moves for invisible opponents. The upside to all this, even for console players, is that the frame rate drop in multi-man matches seem to be virtually gone. While I play on a PC sporting a 1070 and about 40 gigs of RAM, I've been told from some players using a first generation Xbox One that the game is consistent even when participating in 8-man matches. That's a huge bump up from last year where it was difficult to have a basic tag match without lag. After an 8 hour plus session I did notice a menu performance drop and one crash of desktop. This is likely something to be patched, but something you should also be aware of. Most of what we loved about 2K18 makes a return as well with the fresh coat of paint. Creation Suite received wonderful quality of life improvements with the addition of features like mirroring items and new mapping and rotation schemes for logos. My career still has loot boxes, but even for premium items, you can purchase them with in-game VC. While tedious, it just means you'll be playing the game more as VC is earned across the board. If you enjoy the online features, Road to Glory makes its return as well, following a similar format as it did last year. The Daniel Bryan Showcase takes an interesting twist with the documentary style presentation, but quickly turns into the objective based gameplay you've come to expect from Showcase mode. 2K Towers, as we all know, feels like something out of Mortal Kombat. The towers rotate on a daily basis and can be a great source of VC for those looking to dive into the My Player modes a bit more. Universe mode is still kicking and gives players more control than ever. Without the restrictions of past iterations, it'll take some time to get used to the freedom and new ways to control your universe. However, for fans of the mode, it'll be well worth it. There are some oddities like superstars only being able to go after one title at a time, but that does seem to mirror the way current WWE seems to book its own shows. As far as attributes, skills, and abilities go, be mindful of how you set them as they seem to have greater weight and impact on how superstars behave this year. The AI is no in-ring slouch. For veterans, you'll probably still need to edit your sliders in the long run though.
In the end, WW2K19 is a wrestling game as it should be. It takes a gimmicky turn in my career while removing the silent feature vibe by adding rather competent voice acting. In a lot of areas, the game embraces the sure silliness in professional wrestling and is much better for it. You'll come to love the in-ring aspects, but still, be prepared for the occasional bug when venturing beyond the squared circle. I like the pacing and the visuals still look fantastic, even with an occasional hiccup or two. If you pass on this one due to a missing character, you are going to miss out. It isn't perfect, but so far it's been well worth the investment with just under 30 hours and counting in game. WW2K19 has successfully pivoted this franchise in a better direction and should be enough to restore hope and faith moving forward. This marks the end of the review. Stay tuned to SEO for more content in the near future.